Hi friends, I am Sai Chetanya. Welcome to Sai Tech Guru. In this video, I am going to compare the three display comparisons between the Realme X2, Poco X2 and the Redmi Note 8 Pro device. And if you are first time watching this video friends, subscribe to my channel and also do check the links in description for the playlist of all these three smartphones so you can find uh, plenty of useful videos which I have already uploaded in terms of comparison videos as you can see friends. So which I have uploaded more than 100 videos on the Realme X2 and more than 50 videos on the Poco X2 as well. So do not forget to check the links in description friends for the playlist so where you can find plenty of useful videos. So right now let me get back to the display comparison test between all these three smartphones friends. So right now I am playing the same video in uh, all of the three phones. And uh, let me tell you the specifications first. Uh, and the Realme X2 comes with the AMOLED panel, Super AMOLED panel and where is the Redmi uh, Sorry, uh, Poco X2 comes with a normal IPS uh, LCD panel friends and same with the Redmi Note 8 Pro as well. And the only difference you can find between the Redmi Note 8 Pro and the Poco X2 is that in terms of the 120Hz refresh rate and HDR10 certified, so where is the normal uh, Note 8 Pro only HDR certified as you can see here friends. So HDR10 from the Poco X2 and uh, HDR from the normal uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro device. So in terms of the color saturation levels, as you can see friends, the Realme X2 has got uh, advantage because of having the Super AMOLED panel. So as you can see friends, right now I am playing with the full uh, brightness all the three videos in all the three smartphones. Clearly you can see. And now let me try to decrease the brightness to 10% in all the three smartphones and let's check which phone will be brighter. So you can notice friends, uh, the above two phones are slightly brighter like Redmi Note 8 Pro and the uh, Poco X2 device. So overall I can find the Poco X2 is slightly uh, brighter. So if you decrease the brightness. Because the Note 8 Pro and the Poco X2 has got 500 nits brightness levels. Let me try to decrease the brightness levels to 5%. So let's see which phone will be um, more brighter. So as you can see friends, the Realme X2 is very uh, dark. So this phone will be very suitable if you are watching the videos in the darker scenarios maybe while traveling in the bus or train so without disturbing any side passengers. So you can use this kind of uh, low brightness levels as well. So our friends in terms of the display uh, quality I found the Realme X2 is uh, quite better because of having the Super AMOLED panel. Even the Poco X2 has got its own advantage of having the 120Hz refresh rate but while watching the videos it won't be much useful. Only while playing the games you can use actually uh, 120Hz refresh rate. So if you are a media consumption person, the person who likes to travel more and uh, watch more videos on the go then you, I would uh, like definitely prefer to use the AMOLED panels not uh, caring about the 120Hz refresh rate or any IPS panels. So definitely you should choose the AMOLED panel, panel friends if you are uh, more of into traveling and watching more videos on the go. So our friends this is a quick comparison between the, all the three smartphones in terms of the display. And for more videos subscribe to my channel friends Sitech Guru and don't forget to check the links in description uh, for all the three uh, playlists of the three smartphones. So see you in the next video friends. Until then stay tuned. Bye.